Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I'll be reading I Love You, episode 7 to 8. Let's go ahead and get started. Whew. We're here, finally. I'll be homebound once I drop this guy off, but wow. This hospital is bigger than I remember. The owners must have expanded it again. Jeez, just how much money do they have? <clears throat> So far, that's $50 from the convention to send her to the hospital. Convention sent her to the hospital. What? What do you mean, what? Bears $50. Do you think I was going to give you a ride to the hospital for free? I got bills to pay, Missy. What a ripoff. There's no way that ride was worth $50. He could have at least dropped us off at the emergency entrance. How am I supposed to get him home now? Uh, Papa's working at this hour. I can't ask him. And he thinks I'm at Maya's house. I should probably go inside and ask for help. Besides, I can't leave this guy out here like this. What a great night I'm having. I should probably tell Rika that I'm at the hospital right now. If that voicemail doesn't freak them out, I'm pretty sure me being at the hospital will do the trick. Do you need any help, miss? Is there something wrong with your friend? Actually, yeah, I was about- I was just about to bring this guy inside. What happened? I'm not sure. He just passed out. I'm about to go on my break, but I'll call someone out to help you. Respirations and pulse appear to be on the lower side. Did you both come from a party? Yeah, how did you know? I kind of figured just looking at the way you, you're both dressed. Did he have anything to drink or eat? <gasps> orange! Huh? Did she just smack the orange out of her hand? Oh, the nurse said... <laughs> what is wrong with you? I can explain. So, to your knowledge, he didn't drink anything else? Yeah. And then he ended up this way. Yep, that's why I smacked her orange, because he's allergic. Orange allergy? Honey, I don't think he got an orange allergy. If anything, someone might have tampered with your drink. Your drink was spiked, hun. Spiked? You don't party too often, do you? Did you at any point set your drink down or turned away from it? I don't think I... Oh. Always keep an eye on your drinks when at a party. But Otherwise, some messed up people will sneak drugs into your drink. You're lucky you weren't alone. Who knows what could have happened to you if it weren't for this young man. <sighs> hey, could you come to the outpatient entrance? I need your help. Aren't you supposed to be on a break? Yeah, but I have a patient that needs help out here with me. All right, fine. Let me just finish what I'm doing uh, right now. Be there in about 10 minutes. Is that fine? Actually, come out right now. Hmm? Where have I seen that face before? <gasps> oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! What if he was a murderer? I don't get it. I don't get paid enough for this shit. Oh, we should have never ignored her. Girl, calm down. You've been panicking for the last 30 minutes. You're not going to solve anything like this. What if someone finds her skinned body on some ditch by a highway? It's gonna be all over the news, and it's all our fault. Girls, will you both shut up already? Huh? Is this just how you both handle your problems? By jumping to conclusions and freaking out? Nobody is getting skinned, and nobody's going to get dumped in some ditch. But the murder? Why didn't you both think of that when you decided to ignore your friend? You brought this on yourselves. I thought you women like to stick together. Why would you even ditch her? Lecture those girls. <laughs> that was like my mommy mode would be like that. You always have to be careful. You have to stick together. Girls have to stick together because you never know. There are always creepy men out there. And now we have to deal with that creepy men who pretend like they're not really actually transgender they just pretending to be now to take advantage of being hey i 
I am, I self-proclaimed to be a woman, so I'm gonna use the restroom while there's little girls and yeah, so, so they can harm women and little girls. So that's why women have to stick together. I'm sorry, I know like the, today's generation, if a man want to be a woman, they can, and if a, a woman want to be a man, they can, but for a woman, we can't ever really outbeat a man physically, even if they are looking like a woman. They still have the strength of a man, you know? Anyways, that's me rambling. <sighs> Stuff happened in real life that really triggered me when I read that part. <laughs> we wanted to enjoy ourselves, but all she wanted to do was go home. We just wanted her to try out something new. She never leaves her home. So she ended up not liking it. So you left her alone. You can't expect people to, to like what you like and you shouldn't force them to. Did you even try to call, call her to see how she's doing? Actually, no, we were too freaked out to think straight. I'll call her now. They're not very bright. <laughs> I'm getting way too into this. Shanae just sent a message. She's not dead, thank God. Is she okay? What did she say? <gasps> I'm at the hospital. The hospital? No, 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 no. OMG, this can't be real. Oh, please, someone shoot me. <laughs> I really hope they see my text. It shouldn't take them more than 30 minutes to get here. <sighs> I miss my bed so much. I could always walk home, but this hospital is about 20 miles away from home. Uh, that's six miles short of a marathon. <laughs> Why didn't the cab driver choose a closer hospital? Now I'm stuck here with a guy whose jacket I ruined. I can't believe he was being nice to me all night. Why would he be that nice if I ruined his expensive uniform? And on top of that, I also rejected his friend. Oh, that bastard. I see what he's trying to do. It was all set up. Hello there, damsel in distress. What seems to be the problem? I went to go home, but my friends are ignoring me. Help me. Oh my. I shall ease your burden and pay for your transportation. But why? I'm just a stranger. Because, answered life story here. Now, here, take it. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> How will I ever repay you? I won't ever, I won't see you ever again. Oh. We'll see about that. <laughs> she fell right into my trap. Now I will follow that cab and find out where she lives so I can harass her about paying me for my uniform for the rest of her life and also avenge my pal, the German guy. I forgot his name. <laughs> nice try, Mr. Stalker, but that ain't happening. Jeez, what am I even thinking? What do you mean? Everything's all is all in order. Why do you ask? His son is on his way right now. Someone saw him at the parking lot. But he came for an inspection a few days ago. Why would he come here? And at this hour too. You didn't hear? Yongi was admitted not too long ago. Seriously? What happened? From what the girl sitting over there said, it sounds like he was drugged. The lab is checking for traces of any date rate rape drug in his system right now how is he you know how worried uh kusuke gets whenever something happens to that boy thankfully he's stable for now just making sure everything runs smoothly huh looks like kusuke was the right person to call after all <sighs> man i never did like these hospital talks It's a flashback. Is that a McDonald bag, but it's like a W? Ah, <laughs> uh, today is really turning out to be a poor day. Hmm? Rika Lau. About damn time. Hello, Rika? <gasps> Scream with words, please. I can't understand what you're saying. We're so worried. We'll never drag you out to another party ever again. Are you okay? Are you still at the hospital? What happened? Which hospital are you at? Calm down. I'm fine. I'm at the Hi Hirahara Memorial Hospital. We're on our way. Just hang in there. 
All right, I'll see you guys when you get here. Beep. Yes. Won't be long until I get back home. <sighs> I'll just rest my eyes while I wait for them to arrive. Today was too exhausting. Sir, there's no need to worry. Where is he? Which room? He's unconscious, but he is in no danger. We assigned the best to take care of him. But where is he? Jeez, what's with all the yelling? Room 327. It's directly in front of that girl over there. She's the one that brought him here. Here. Huh? You've got to be kidding me. Kusuke. Wait up. Oh, hey. Aren't you the girl that bumped into Yoongi at the party? Oh my gosh. This is such fate. Bad luck fate. <laughs> Kusuke, wait up. Oh, hey. Aren't you the girl that bumped into Yoongi at the party? I love you. Ugh. Why is this asshole here? Do you know her? Why would I know her? I don't know. Probably because she's looking at you funny. Wait, he doesn't remember me from the party? Did I mistake him for somebody else? But... Are you trying to insult me? You think I'll associate with the likes of her? Calm down. You no need to do the, the lolly. What did you say? <laughs> Nothing. That stained is on the same spot I hit with a stake I threw. Does Yoongi understand the things you say? Because I don't. He is a Q-tip from the party. You're a drongo, that's why. I'm a what? He doesn't remember I ruined his designer suit. You're lucky you're a close friend of Yoongi's. I would have... would have what? Beat me up with your candy and book? Oh, I'm so scared. Dang it, there's no exit this way. Hey, you, get back here. I still need to talk to you. Damn it, I need to do something so he doesn't recognize me. Quick. Oh, hello there. <laughs> what did you want to talk about? Only <laughs> this face and an altered voice will look. Jeez, have you gone to see a doctor or dentist? That's a terrible un underbite you have there. And oh my god, that voice too. You should get some surgery to fix all of that. <laughs> yes, I have gone to see a specialist about my condition, but unfortunately the fix costs too much even after insurance. So I had to live like this. <laughs> I have to like put my chin out just so like so I can mimic that type of voice or see how it sounds like. But I don't know, every time I see something like that, I think of like quagmire. <laughs> Yeah, not everyone's swimming in money like you, asshole. You shut up. Back to the point. I wanted to talk to you because... Because what? Wait, I've seen that cheap outfit before. You can't fool me. You're the fat ass from the party. Fat ass? She doesn't look fat at all. Uh, whoa. Ugh. How dare you throw your low quality shoes at me? Get back here. So, like, I'm going to call in tomorrow and go back to the break room, please. Oh, don't let her get away. Don't just stand there. Sorry, I'm on break. Anyway, I'm calling off because... You idiot. That's the owner's son you're talking to. What? Oh, shit. Oh. Coming through. Hey, no running. Get back here. What the heck? <laughs> let me go. What are you doing to me? They put, I can't afford to lose my job. Yo, I got her. <laughs> I got her. We're at the end of the opposite wing. He said it over there right now. Cool. He got a black eye. Aren't, she, aren't these restraints too much? Yeah, but who knows what else you are going to do to me. Just look what you did to my precious face. What? I didn't even touch you. If you let me go right now, I will leave you alone and forget you even strapped me into, onto this chair. All I want to do was eat and go home, not this. Sorry, not letting you go until boss gets here. Well, the boss's son. What's going on here? Oh no, what the hell is he going to do to me now? What's the meaning of this? I told you to stop her, not restrain her. But look at what she did to my face. Lies, you face landed on my elbow. Why don't you take the rest off, rest of the day off? 
I wasn't here to witness what really happened between you two. But I'll pay for the medical expenses. <sighs> Just please don't do this to anyone again without permission from a doctor. We don't want a lawsuit on our hands. There. This was totally unexpected. For someone that trips people over cake, that was nice of him to pay for the guy's injury. Um, thanks for letting me go, I mean. Let you go. You're not off the hook yet, fat ass. I have some questions for you. I have a name, you know, so stop calling me fat ass. Fine, then. What's your name? I'm not obliged to answer any of your questions. Have fun for the rest of the night, then, fat ass. Okay, fine. I'll answer whatever you ask me. Just get me off this thing and stop calling me fat ass. My name is Yu, Shanae. Okay, Miss Yu. What did you do to him? Who are you? Are you talking about the redhead? What was his name again? I think the doctor said Yoongi or something. His name is Yoongi. Tell me what happened. What did you do to him? I didn't do anything. He drank my orange juice after he chased away this other creepy dude from the party. Ten minutes later, Yoongi passes out. The nurse told me my drink might have been spiked while I wasn't looking. Do you remember what the creepy man looked like? I didn't see his face. He was wearing some kind of jester mask. And that's all you remember? <laughs> yeah, I swear. Now get me off this chair. One more thing. Is anyone else aware of tonight's incident? Um, no. Aside from the hospital staff, I guess? Look me in the eye. You better not li be lying about all of this. Th there was a cab driver too. Oh jeez, get away from my face. Too close. You took him by a taxi? Yeah. Thank goodness. Imagine the p pandemonium that would have en ensued. Had you called an ambulance? Father would have been infuriated. Panamonu... What? I don't get it. Panamones? The guy must have weird fetishes. Oh. <laughs> Shanae, she had a red purple dress on. She told us she was here. Maya, relax. Remember the, uh, what the bartender said. Ugh, you're right. I'm, I'm panicking too much, Oregon. Here, let me do the talking. Sorry about that. We're looking for our friend. We were hoping that maybe you could help us find her. Uh, she told us she's here in this hospital. <gasps> Shanae? <gasps> oh my god, Shanae! Oh my god, we were so worried. We we're here now. Rika? Maya? How'd you guys get here so fast? Are they your friend? Friends? Y yeah. There was no traffic and I ran through a bunch of stoplights, but what's going on here? I know this looks bad, but I can explain. I wasn't the one, oh, one who, oh, you sick bastard. Well, oh yeah, go my. <laughs> Rika, this guy is super weak. I can hold him down. Hurry up and free Shanae. I'm free. Now let's get out of here. What the hell? I wasn't the one who restrained her. Hold on! I was just done talking. I didn't get the chance to talk. Th oh, you know what? Fine. <laughs> she turned around and flipped the bird on him. Take you and your cheap shoes, uh, cheap clothes elsewhere. I'll make sure you won't get away next time. Crazy girls. That's a first. Did that girl just flip you off? Not to mention you got manhandled by, manhandled by her friend. Can't wait to tell Yonggi about this once he recovers. Tch. She caught me off guard. She was shorter and skinnier too. Shut up. You want to bring those girls back here? I can handle them unlike you. Alright, it's alright. That girl told me no one else knows about what happened. Only the employees here. I need to make sure they keep quiet about this. I can't let father find out. Find out what? That your brother has been hospitalized? Why don't... Why doesn't... Why is he afraid to have their father... Uh, or Yonggi's father know that he was in the hospital? That's weird. Okay. 
Well, I'm sorry for reading and giggling because some part is just like really hilarious to me and I just could not keep my composure and continue reading. But yes. Oh man. All right, guys, if you guys enjoyed the way I read and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!